This is a demonstration of a parasitic acid drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. Please refer to the appropriate endpoint ID plus instruction sheet while watching this training video. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add 10 drops of sulfuric acid. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add one drop of potassium iodide. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add 5 drops of starch indicator. Hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size, and remember to swirl the vial after the addition of each reagent. If parasitic acid is present, the sample will turn a blue-black color. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. Count the number of drops during this step. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample is changed from a blue-black color to clear that persists for 10 seconds. Multiply the number of drops by the test factor to obtain the parts per million parasitic acid.